pandemic hit European football hard with a ban on spectators gathering at matches and, of course, a drop in revenue. But the latest review of football finance from international accountants Deloitte shows the game continued to make money. European football revenue grew by 10% to $28.1 billion in the 2021 season. That's despite most games being played without spectators. And that's largely down to broadcast revenues and the success of the European Championship for international teams, which was put back a year to 2021 so that fans could attend. The so-called Big Five European leagues, England, Spain, Germany, Italy and France, saw combined revenue increase by around 3% to $15.9 billion in 2021 season. But the English Premier League remains the big success story, the only one of the big five to see its clubs deliver increased profit. The 20 teams in the Premier League combined saw profits increase massively from $59 million to $577 million. Well, Chris Wood is assistant director at the Deloitte Sports Business Group and one of the people behind that annual review of football finance. The 2020-21 season that we're looking at um, was the season played with no fans in the stadium for the vast majority. Um, and I guess that, that raises the question, why are revenues increasing? There's, there's two main factors there. We're seeing some, some deferral. So from the 2019-20 season that was postponed due to the impact of COVID-19 being completed in the 2020-21 financial year. And we're also seeing the impact of the postponed UEFA Euro 2020 competition um, that was played across June and July 2021 um, and the revenue generated from that competition flowing into this year's um, annual report. The Deloitte report talks about an exciting period post-pandemic that will, I quote, challenge clubs to break from tradition. Tell us more about that. So I think that is um, that was specifically in reference to the, the female game and the women's game and off the back of the, the Euro, the women's Euro we've just seen. And now we believe that there's a great opportunity to, to use this platform that the women's game has, has now to really turbocharge kind of growth and commercial value um, as well as fan interest um, in the women's game and take it to, to a new level. So it's quite fortunate the Euro 20s delayed, but a successful tournament in the end Women's 2022 tournament also successful, so a much bigger playing field for public interest and, I suppose, investors as well. Absolutely, and I think that's one of the reasons why football specifically is being seen by investors as such a potentially attractive investment opportunity. They've, they've seen the sport through a relatively unprecedented period with COVID-19. They've seen consumer interest and fan interest stay strong through that period. And, and since we've started to come out of the the COVID-19 pandemic, we've seen fans return um, in large numbers to, to matches and to games. Um, I think the Premier League specifically um, across last season saw an increase in attendances versus pre-pandemic. Um, so that just goes to show to investors kind of there is the consumer demand for football kind of right across the, the European landscape. So all eyes on Manchester. I want to comment on individual club situations, but uh, some people are talking about this uh, deal of the century that we may see on the horizon. Certainly a sign that investment and possibly foreign investment still poking around looking at, the, at all five of the leagues. Absolutely. Um, we haven't heard any official line around whether the club is for sale or not, but if, if, if a club like Manchester United was to come onto the market, we expect that there would be a huge level of interest in that. Um, it, it's a huge global brand um, and obviously it sits within the Premier League where there are kind of numerous kind of foreign ownership structures already at certain clubs uh, and again that just goes to show the, the preeminence of the Premier League its financial power above the other European leagues and against essentially the clubs on pitch performance um, across Europe being, being consistently at the very very top You're